Hey, it's Nick here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to break in my brand new Mercury Four Stroke that's paired up with my Z21. We're here at Racetown Lake, which is a 30 mile lake. It's beautiful, it makes it real nice for these long hours of the break in procedure. We're going to be following the Mercury guidelines, and why it's so important to follow these procedures is because now when you go to your boat dealer and they plug it into that computer, it'll let them know if you ever took it out of the break-in procedure or if you did it correctly. And if you don't do it correctly, your motor might not last you for years and years and years like we're looking for. Okay, so it's very important. For the first two hours of operation, run the engine at varied throttle settings up to 4,500 RPM and at full throttle for approximately one minute every 10 minutes. For the next eight hours of operation, avoid continuous operation at full throttle for more than five minutes at a time. All right, so we're gonna start with the first two hours, but what I'm also gonna add in there is I'm gonna take my uh, hydraulic jack plate all the way down, I'm gonna trim my motor all the way down, and then also for the first two hours, which is a long continuous time, I'm gonna shut my engine down probably two to three times in that, in that time period to let it cool down, restart it, and then go again. Come along and help me break in this engine. So we made it through our first half hour. Everything's running great. I can tell you, first thing I took notice of is how much torque this engine has. You know, these four strokes have a lot of torque. Uh, like I said, we're doing real well. I'm going to show you how I'm using my gauges to vary my RPMs every so often. And then every 10 minutes, I'm going to take it up to the max RPMs. But you got to remember, I have my hydraulic jack plate all the way down and my trim all the way down. So at max RPMs right now, I'm at around 5,000 RPMs. Once my two hours is up, I'll then be able to open it up with my jack plate, with my trim, and I'll be right around 5,800 and 6,000. All right, so here's how I'm using my RPM gauge. When I go to get on plane, and remember... My jack plate's all the way down, my trim's all the way down. I'm at about 3,500 RPMs, and then I back that down to about 2,500 RPMs, and then I'm doing between 2,500 RPMs and uh, 4,500 RPMs, which is the max recommendation, 
uh, every so many minutes I'm changing in between that setting. And then every 10 minutes, I'm full throttle for a minute, which is about 5,000 RPMs with my hydraulic jack plate all the way down and my trim all the way down. And then here I'm using on my graph, I'm using the time to track those minutes. so we're a little over an hour in and uh, the last ride I, I did a little bit longer and it got real windy out so I had to stop and put my rain bibs on to keep the wind it got a little bit chilly kind of led me to something else you know when you're out here driving and, and you know getting your motor run in make sure that you bring plenty of food or snacks you dress warm because in the springtime you just never know what you're going to get into and then with this boat too which is real nice and i'm going to use it my next trip uh here is going to be the radio oh we're over here the radio you know just a few things to, to grab but so far it's going real good not having any problems it's real smooth i'm also with this lake here you also have plenty of of no wake zones so you can do idle as well. So I have some of those hours mixed in there as well. So I'm getting the full effect here and we're getting her done. So let's keep at it.
Well, we did it. We got through about two and a half hours. It went real smooth, a little windy today, but that's all right. So now for the next seven and a half hours, I just can't uh, do full throttle for more than uh, five minutes at a shot, which I don't really do that often anyway. So uh, we should be good to go. Um, our motor's run in, it's broken in. Now we're gonna open it up a little bit and then we're gonna take it back to the ramp. Days winding down but we got done what we needed to today and that was the initial break-in procedure of our four-stroke the two-hour mark is when I went and I used my hydraulic jack plate and my trim to get better performance after that all right now I'm still gonna work on that because you know you can't learn everything in one day about your new boat but I ended up getting about 70 miles per hour which I'm not a speed demon and that was more than enough for me the initial uh, break-in procedure is very very important because this is your investment and you want to get the most out of it and the most amount of years out of it if you found this video useful and entertaining please like comment subscribe and until next time there's no such thing as a bad day on the water